Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video about this person's comment on YouTube. Uh, he's saying that, uh, okay, now it's quoting me, I'm not a fanboy, says the dude with three Samsung Android devices. Uh, and then he say, LOL. Okay, so this is just a, a very, very bad uh, trying to attack me and saying that, I'm a Samsung fanboy just because I have more devices from Samsung than let's say a company like Apple. Now I don't really get this argument because uh, why would I use something in my life that uh, is coming from a company that sucks if, if you think I'm a fanboy because I use both Apple products, I use both Samsung products, I use both Microsoft products every single day of my life. I still do believe uh, that Apple is bringing better sound in their iPod Touch than a lot of new Android smartphones. Uh, I, I bought this uh, Sensation uh, XL phone that was uh, coming with Beats Audio. And do you know a fun thing about those beats? Uh, I haven't even tried out them because people say it sucks and uh, I think I'm gonna try them out but some people say that beats have a little bit too much bass and stuff like that but I mean it was like a week ago I bought them and most people would be like oh my god I gotta try this you know right now it must be the best but uh, I've already have a uh, other uh, in here right now that, that I'm using that's also kind of expensive but I mean the thing is that uh, this is a very bad argument and why would I use something uh, why would I use something from, from Apple if I'm a fanboy and why would I talk good as I'm doing right now about Apple I think that Apple was good they were really good back in uh, 2007 they had something going on and uh, then they were going good for a few years but then Android came and really did take over uh, many of these things that people was complaining about with Apple uh, the screen size, customization, more freedom and uh, the reason why I have so many Samsung smartphones right now that, that's in different sizes, comes with different specs and everything is because I'm a reviewer. Uh, I buy new phones, and I I I have bought the new Apple iPhone 4s that Apple released last year. If Samsung or I mean, if Apple would have released more phones with different specs, different uh, screen size, and everything, I would probably have bought them as well. But now the thing is that Apple didn't do that. They didn't offer more alternatives and uh, if we're just gonna spin it off here a little bit the if you talk about smartphones here I think that the Samsung Galaxy Note that is uh, a 5 inch device uh, a 5 inch smartphone with a S Pen I think that is a phone that seriously everyone out there on this earth need to try right now for at least a week because that phone is more than just a phone. That is something that can start something really big. After you've been using that phone, after you've been using that phone, you really do uh, realize that this this is something a little bit more than a phone. Just because it's so big, it can replace many of these uh, tablet things like browsing and everything. Just because the screen is so massive. And the thing is that I've been seeing three more huge tech YouTube partners that have been making like 12 minute videos 12 to like 60 minute videos talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note like John Forlakers and Phone Dog made like a 30 day challenge and then we have another person that I can't name right now because I forgot his name but the thing is that they are making so long videos reviewing the phone and the only thing they do in that video is talking extremely good about the phone they don't like say anything negative that's something new okay I've never seen that before happening to a phone that people only been talking good about it and they've been saying that the battery life is good the screen is awesome and that the first time they saw the phone they they said to themselves, no, 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 this is too big. 
but it, 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 it's something new. I mean, if Apple, if Apple would have released a five-inch iPhone or iTablet or some 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 name with an i before, that would have been this, that would really have been the thing. That 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 would that would outsell everything. Okay, it would outsell every single thing out there because this is an interesting interesting size with a tablet and the thing is that yes I use the tablet right now I use it more than I, I've been before uh, I may still not be a power user but I mean if, if you go ahead and, and start to use that stylus uh, more then you will become better and you will become a little bit more of a power user and I mean I seriously can't think of uh, me buying a phone and use the phone on a daily basis that is uh, smaller than 5 inch. I'm, I'm so used to that size now so it will be interesting to see how I'm gonna do with the Samsung Galaxy S3 but the thing is that uh, uh, Samsung is still experimenting with screen size and if, if the Samsung Galaxy S3 is gonna have this 4.8 inch screen then I mean it's it's gonna be very very close to a 5 inch device so yeah, but it's gonna be interesting. Do I want to do I want to make the switch? That that's gonna be a very interesting thing. And also, this time Samsung won. They they made a interesting device that some people even not not sure of if they should call it a tablet or a smartphone. So they call it tablet. Uh, but the thing is, that's just because uh, the Samsung did try something new, and it's it's not just that they did try something new is that they did really find a new market that I think is gonna blow up as hell in the future once we get better spec uh, better spec smartphones it's gonna be crazy and the thing is that this time as I said as as Samsung is saying in their in their little trailers and everything for the Samsung guys just note that it it's it's something new and it really is something new. I mean, I could I could sit here all day long talk good about the note and say what's good about it, but I already been making so many videos about it. The thing is that it's something new, and you have to try it out. I've not heard a single person that hasn't been liking this phone, and uh, with and with stock Android four point zero point three ICS, this phone is gonna be so good that. Yeah, it's 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 kind of crazy, and this this is a screen size that really could kill a tablet. That could be the reason why Apple isn't trying out this uh, this screen size, because as I say, if Apple would release a five inch device, everyone would love it. If it would have been a smartphone, everyone would have loved it so much. But why didn't they do it? Well, I think that's just because they went with a a, a phone that f that you can hold in your whole hand and you can touch er everything of the of the screen and also that they could then brand it as as a retina display and then they bought if then they did an iPad which uh, they always do a new update every year and it's it's very simple when they only have those two uh, devices people will think about them I'm not sure if they're gonna release a new iPod this year but I'm, I'm not sure why they they aren't because uh, many people do buy them and stuff but if, if Apple would have done that then they would have been awesome and creative and innovative and I think that we, we shouldn't blame Apple for not being the best all the time because as we do know one of the the best or I mean the best person behind Apple Steve Jobs he did unfortunately have cancer here in, uh, in the last few years uh, of uh, you know what he, he got like 2005 and uh, that's uh, that's one of the reasons also behind Apple's success with the latest products one person Steve Jobs and he has been so good for Apple but uh, can Apple still really be their leader up there it feels like they are running out of ideas and it feels like Steve Jobs didn't want to experiment with uh, a larger device uh, with a bigger screen but I really think that it would be in, or it would be uh, interesting as hell but the thing is 
I'm not even sure if Apple's gonna experiment going with the bigger screen size, and uh, that's just uh, that that's a little boring actually. If they're only gonna try to update the speed to make the new iPhone a 4G LTE variant, and then maybe update the yeah the GPU as well to a quad core one, but still the same CPU. It will be interesting to say at least to see what Apple is gonna do this year. Yeah. See.